Hey y'all, it's Trinity. Back to the quick general read. Messages are for the collective. Keep in mind, these readings are just general. They're timeless. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates today, leave it here. All right, um, I was getting a couple of downloads today. All right, I was hearing something about double-edged sword, um, meaning like... Um, Something may have a negative and a positive effect, all right? So some of you guys could be dealing with a situation like that. Maybe something that you thought was negative also has a positive effect on the end. All right, I was also seeing a high priestess in my third eye all day. So it's like something's a mystery. Somebody looks at you as a mystery or there's some sort of um, knowledge that has been unlocked to you. I was also hearing birth charts. So maybe some of you guys could be getting into your birth charts or somebody has access to your birth chart or Akashic records. Whoever this person is, somebody's feeling guilty at this time. And I feel like somebody's trying to like expedite your pace at this time. It's because this is a person who's been doing magic and holding you back for a very long time. I'm also getting... There's somebody who's trying to push you into your destiny really fast now because they know that you're still undergoing trauma. So if you try to jump into your life path while you're still dealing with things that transpired in the past, you're going to eliminate yourself, just point blank, period. All right. Um, I was also hearing clear, clear cognizance. All right, so some of you guys could be recognizing your psychics at this time or somebody else around you could be knowing this. It's like you're able to read somebody or you know things about a person and somebody's like confused, like, well, how the hell can this person read my energy? X, Y, and Z. Somebody's astonished by your gifts, all right? Because you guys know there are four um, ways to access information and um, that's clear sentience, it's um, clear audience, hearing, clairvoyant, seeing. And and I said, I, I think I just, what I said? Clear sentience, clear audience, clairvoyance. And then um, look them up. All right. Um, yeah, so some of you guys, this is the information. Like some, some, I feel like some of you guys have recently released some sort of trauma, and this is why these gifts are um, surfacing. I feel like whatever information you have accessed, I feel like you're gonna be very grateful. Or there's some sort of lesson that you just went through. It's about to bring you in a lot of prosperity. For some of you guys, your intuition was off. I feel like some of you guys were not able to make proper decisions, but it's like the will of fortune is here. And I'm hearing, I'm waiting on my moment. It's it's like your moment is here. This is your time. Um, also remember that you are the you are the uh, the narrative. Like you are the narrator, the author of your story. Write your story. Don't let anybody else write your story. Because I was also getting there's individuals who's been writing your story, and these people are placing people, places, and things in your life so it could align with whatever they wrote or they said was going to happen in your life. And I feel like at this time, the Most High is unlocking certain uh, information towards you so you can know which direction to go. All right. Yeah, but it's, it's something here that you recently underwent that's like... It's about to unlock some sort of information. And with that mystery, some of you guys definitely could have been seeking some sort of information to help you move forward. There is something that you guys have to let go of to receive some sort of prosperity here. All right. Some of you guys need to be focusing more on your health as well. I'm hearing detox. All right. Ginger, lemon. All right. Can I have a message here? Archangel Michael, why is fear protection? Uh, praying and meditating is necessary as well. We got the four of water at the bottom of the deck. Okay. 
And we have Justice, Magician. Yeah. I feel like somebody around you is depressed at this time. Because like I said, there was somebody here with this magician. Somebody was doing magic on you. And you're about to receive blessings with this justice card. I feel like scales are about to be balanced in your life. And that's the truth. Ace of air. All right. Star. It had everything to do with your healing. All right. Let's get a message here. All right. Let's get a message. Archangel Michael, ask for your protection. Any negative energy going to me, I ask that it's reversed and return to Sunday. Let's get a message here with the collective. Yeah, I'm hearing truth hurts. So we have the king of fire. I feel like some of you guys are in this like very passionate energy. It's something that you're passionate about doing. I see two leaders here, queen of earth and king of fire. So somebody's really grounded at this time. I feel like somebody else is fiery and passionate. This could be your counterpart here, your empress. All right. Somebody's accepting or calling at this time. All right. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign or you could be dealing with an earth sign. But um some of you guys could certainly be spiritual influencers, all right, or you're some sort of influencer here. I feel like whatever you teach or whatever you know, it certainly helps others. I feel like at this time here, either you or somebody could be like open to new ideas, new ways of doing things here. It's like somebody's crown chakra is open, somebody's heart. I feel like you guys touch a lot of people and you enlighten a lot of people as well, all right? Um, be confident in your teaching and your leadership abilities here. All right, with the hangman, some of you guys could be surrendering something or sacrificing something. I also feel like things, like how you want new things are disappearing. Or it's like, or what you've expected certain scenarios or outcomes to be. I feel like at this time, you like, um, what serves my greater purpose? Or some of you guys are just sacrificing for the greater good. Like, does this benefit me and others? Or is this could certainly have something to do with, um, with your teachings or how you operate? Or this could be somebody around you. All right. I feel like at this time, you guys are enlightening people. You guys are opening people's minds up to think different ways. All right. I'm hearing traditional and I'm hearing spiritual. I'm hearing religious. All right. So, all right. It's like somebody's open at this time. Somebody could be letting go of like outdated like beliefs and whatnot here. All right. I feel like you guys are going to be very successful with whatever you're doing. I'm also seeing recovery and health. Sorry about that. Also feel like somebody's in love with you, all right? Yeah, we have the full new beginnings, taking a leap of faith there, all right? So some of you guys could be going in a completely different direction. Maybe some of you guys were juggling here with the two of pentacles, which, which direction to take, or some of you guys could have multiple offers coming in. I feel like some of you guys are either you're, maybe you're just confused about your life path that you've been going a certain way. It's like somebody's about to reroute, all right, with the hierophant here. For some of you guys, this certainly has something to do with uh, with marriage. This was never on somebody's mind here. Yeah, look, Ten of Cups. Somebody's thinking about marriage, a family. All right, I feel like, oh, somebody is like, somebody geeked up about somebody here. All right, for some of you guys, this ain't for everybody, but it's like somebody's willing to take a leap of faith with you. Or this, this, this could be yeah, this King of Air. We got two kings out here. All right, so this is like 
somebody's very strategic here. All right, I don't know if you guys have two options or this could just be your energy here. It's like maybe some of you guys have been real fiery. This could be impulsive. All right, um, somebody's like trying to settle their thoughts at this time and I feel like somebody's trying to make more so like head over heart decisions. Like, cause you see this guy has a heart Oh, like he, he wears his heart and, and this person is being strategic or this is like somebody trying to read into you. Two of cups. The moon. Yeah, it's like. Secretly here, it's like somebody fantasizes about being with you for some of you guys. Some of you guys could be in like some sort of secret connection. For others of you guys, this is like negotiation of a contract here. This certainly could be marriage with the hybrid font and the Ten of Cups here. Somebody's confused if you want this. They don't know if they want this here. But, you know, somebody certainly... This is certainly on somebody's mind. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's like this is somebody's like. Yeah, I keep hearing head over heart decisions, right? So for some of you guys, maybe in the past, you, you made decisions based off of your heart or like uh, off a of feeling. You always went off a of feeling. It's like somebody's transitioning at this time because maybe somebody feels like um, wearing their heart on their sleeve holds them back or something like that. Yeah, we had be assertive. Say what you mean, mean what you say here. This could certainly have something to do with a contract. We have abundance. I see big happy changes. All right. Something's something's coming towards you, or you gotta stand firm on what you want. All right. Yeah, we got trust. That's what I was saying. Trust in what you believe, trust in what you want, what you teach here. And we have something coming in the near future here. Maybe it's something coming in the near future that you're going to have to make a decision about. All right, this is going to be short. I'm hearing communication. Some of you guys could be in communications. This certainly has something to do with a family here. We got happy family popping out. All right, so trips, vacations here, marriage, celebrations. Yeah, I told you, I smell contract. It's a contract here for some of you guys. I feel like somebody's wanting to negotiate. It's going to be something to celebrate for here. I feel like somebody's drawing something up for you right now or somebody's thinking like how they could fit you in. Somebody wants you to be a part of something here, all right, with the Uriel. Somebody feels like you're highly connected to the divine here. You're like a source or a channeler. So for some of you guys, it's like somebody hiring you, hiring you as their private reader or spiritual influencer or guidance counselor or something like that. Some of you guys could be guidance counselors or something like that. Something to do with communications for some of you guys. I'm also hearing artistry, musicians. Some of you guys could be in this field here. For some of you guys, I see superstars, musicians, and rappers. These type of people are going to be coming towards you. Yeah, look for your knowledge, your intellect here. It's something like that, all right? Or this could be you doing this for somebody. How, take it how it resonates, all right? For some of you guys, uh, I feel like somebody's about to help you get out of a contract here. I mean, a faulty contract. Some of you guys could have been, yeah, with this hostilities. Somebody's trying to protect you from this. I feel like somebody tried to put you in something or something like that here. All right. But you guys are very conscious and aware. Some of you guys had something to do with a lawyer or something like that. I'm here in law and order. Yeah, I feel like somebody's waiting for the perfect time to come and speak to you about something. 
Yeah, look, this is an investor. All right, man holding a coin. All right, and thinking woman. Somebody wants to pay you for, for what you know, or this person just wants to invest in you. For some of you guys, there's so much money about to come in for you guys. It's like you're going to need a financial advisor here. Some of you guys could physically be moving away across states here or something like that. I feel like this may be um, conflicting because maybe some of you guys are going to have to leave family behind or loved ones or something that you love. But I feel like this is going to balance out your situation. All right. Or some of you guys said something to somebody buying you a home or I'm hearing uh, travel work, travel work. I'm also in traveling nurse. Yeah, we got luck is on your side. At the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys could be Sagittarius. Somebody's trying to think of what what what's going to be suitable for you here. Some of you guys are going to have to make adjustments. Okay. I'm hearing why did I get married? Yeah, some of you guys need to start strategizing about your dreams, maybe writing them down or something, or how you're going to bring these dreams into fruition. I feel like it's coming quick. All right, so somebody could be questioning their marriage. Also hearing a faulty marriage. Somebody could have been in this. Yeah, we have a time for healing. All right. So like I say here, somebody's undergoing some sort of healing or changes. This is why these blessings are about to come into you, towards you. Yeah, the energy is gaining momentum here. All right. So listen, you know, you get what you put out. And we got to work through your fears, all right? Luck is on your side. We have Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. All right, so, so that's what I was saying, all right? Uh, at the beginning of the reading here, somebody's trying to push you through some sort of fear that they possibly put you, like, in. Somebody's trying to, like, push you out. Like, I feel like somebody tried to confine you, mind control, MK Ultra, something like that, that somebody tried to do here. And then I feel like, I don't know, some of you guys passed a test here, a major test. I don't know if this is a test from the divine. This could have been from a fire sign or air sign. All right. Somebody tried to put you through some sort of test. <clears throat> Can I have a card here? Expectation main feminine. All right. So some of you guys could be expecting something. Could be in your mind here about something, something that you're expecting. Or this could be somebody around you here. Yeah, your work is something to do with your occupation. Somebody's thinking of you, what you do for work, this wealthy man. All right, somebody wants to invest in something you're doing. 13 or 34 could be significant. This is going to clear your pathway for whoever you are. And it's a lot of money that's going to be involved here. 35, 13 or 34 could be significant here. About to close this one out. Yep, high honor and great fortune. All right, you about to get everything that you desire. You deserve it more. Let's get a couple of cards. One of um, couple of tarot cards here. Yeah, the hermit. All right. Certainly can have something to do with spirituality here. Or some of you guys are self-reflecting at this time here. But like I said, there is like some sort of spiritual influence here. Somebody gives guidance or you give guidance or somebody wants your guidance with the Hermit card. You eight of wine, something to do with communication. All right. There's about to be some sort of rapid communication, some changes that's coming towards you here. You're definitely about to receive um, or benefit off the fruits of your labor. This could certainly have something to do with travel. Something's going to be very exciting here. All right. We got Sagittarius energy. We got Virgo here. High Priestess. That's what I'm saying. Vir uh, uh, so I said Virgo. That's the Hermit. 
High Priestess with the Hermit here. All right. It, 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 I'm telling you, this has something to do with spirituality here. Intuition or something that you know that could help somebody here. All right. I'm also getting like, like I said, with the Eight of Wands to the High Priestess, it's like unstoppable downloads and secrets, things that you know. You got people mind blown here. Five of Swords, this feel could be competitive here. Or like I said, somebody here, somebody around you could be angry here that you know their, their secrets here. Pay attention to the company.